So I sort of turned it into a bit of a science lab. I thought, why not? I mean, if we're going to have something a little bit mechanical, let's add a bit of activity down here. So you've got the potions for the kids and the, uh, I think it's the microscope as well. I mean, this is actually one of my favourite rooms, to be honest. It just is simple and yet yeah, I don't really get much opportunity to use the pipes and just this decoration to be honest so I did enjoy making it and now we're going to go up to the first floor we um have lots of bedrooms as you can imagine a few bathrooms a few little sitting areas it gets a bit more modern here for um the build itself it's one of the uh problems with trying to fill all the rooms that I just didn't know what to do but I'm quite proud of it I've got say a little dance area with some music it's it's very varied this room here I enjoy doing the four poster beds I absolutely love it I do them in a few different ways but this room is one that's really based on a particular picture I found and it should be in this room as well so it's one of the better recreations of the bedrooms as well as the one a little bit further along another sitting area and yes another bedroom of course we go into here and lots more seats again it is very filled with bedrooms and basic things I made a nursery it has to be done. I mean, when you've got a big build like this, you need a few kids' rooms. It'll be a bit too much just having so many bedrooms and nothing with any toys or anything. So it's it's ready to play. So that's that's all fun. And we go up to the next floor. As you can imagine, more bedrooms. So many more bedrooms. I made this one into a little art corner. I like the lighting in it. It just sort of really stood out in this corner. So I made two rooms, one with the little sort of kids art place and one with like a really big sort of, I don't know what to call it, but it's an art room basically. Um, we'll go further along this one. Most of these rooms that I have changed are meant to be bedrooms, but there's only so many rooms and bedrooms the Sims need. This room is obviously an office. And for some reason, my stairs have gone, but it should. Ah, no, I'm thinking there's so many floors. I'm thinking of the wrong one. We have uh, uh, more seating. I made a play area. There are, like I said, so many rooms. We added a little TV in there the puppet show it's it's unfortunate you can't get any like children's wallpapers and things in a slightly um older style it would have fit this uh build a lot better so there are rooms that are slightly more modern and i mean i do use cc and i could have changed it but ultimately in my build if i use it i tend to do it after i've put it on the gallery got another bedroom this one's obviously a child's bedroom so I've made it slightly more in the style with the double bed and the decorations I got quite a few children's rooms it just made it different to build in all honesty and then over here these rooms don't actually link together so you have to go up the correct side we've got a little room all set up for your um styling sims or you could just have like a little makeup alcove and yeah <laughs> another bedroom and a music room another music room with the slightly more modern music and we've got the jazz pictures in it as well and then as you can imagine we actually have one more floor one more main floor anyways which we access from over this side and here we go this is obviously meant to have bedrooms and I put a few in but I just like to do a little bit 
difference. I made a little meditation room. We've got some like the uh, fountain, so you got like lots of water, like sort of the sounds to help aid meditation. Lots of plants, so it's a nice little area to be in. We have even more seating. There are lots and lots of different seating rooms and parlors and tea rooms, whatever you want to call them. In these big houses, it can get very repetitive. And we are getting over to the room that I got confused about. We have another office and this room. This room, it's obviously not a complete recreation. I didn't have anything I could really put in it, to be honest. So I made it into a little gardening centre. But up here we go to the observatory, which is... If we go up, well helps if I know what I'm doing which basically leads to a little balcony where you can walk around and go into all of well see everything and then we basically just have some more bedrooms and that is my recreation of Baltimore House I try to like really do the exterior as well as possible. There is um, a lot of detail that I try to put in like around the windows and where the, where the chimneys are placed and the, I'm not sure what to call them, the roof decoration is one of the worst things to do and it takes forever. But it works, it looks good. So that is Build to My House on a, a lovely fall day or autumn for me because I'm in the UK and lovely autumn's day in The Sims.